Avant, les femmes dansaient les seins dehors. Les hommes avec un petit pagne. Et petit à petit, les choses, l'interdiction de la de, de l'évangélisation. Avant, c'était interdit de danser. Jusqu'à la reine Pomare IV. Et petit à petit, encore l'État français demande à la reine d'avoir l'autorisation, d'avoir un groupe de danse qui danse. Mais le Polynésien n'a jamais arrêté de danser. Beyond the grass skirt. Beyond the grass skirt. Beyond the grass skirt. Uh, when I was approached to work on it, uh, I was immediately captivated, fascinated by the Tahitian culture. What happened to the culture during that time? Did the culture really disappear? And how could you really ban something that was so deeply rooted in a people? I immediately identified it, identified with the native culture of the Tahitians based on my heritage, uh, Native American heritage. Went to Tahiti twice to work on this um, docu-series and we learned a lot. We definitely learned a lot. We learned um, how the culture was taken down. We learned how the culture survived and we learned how the culture came back. Colonization has been something that has taken the world by storm. It, it, it just strikes me as interesting that they brought in uh, the correct religion and they brought in the correct way of living when these cultures were already thriving and beautiful. The French did not believe that what we were doing was correct. They thought it was wrong. They thought it was, you could say, pagan in the sense of it was devil worshiping. It, they didn't agree with it. Seeing that, they banned the culture. The dance, language, drumming, everything about the culture was banned. Religion was brought into our people. I get asked all the time, was it hard for the transition? We learned, no. Our people have always been believing people. Um, I heard a story of the Tahitians, the way they dance with the, the, the rapid shaking of the hips um, could be perceived by, by outsiders as other things, but the story I heard is it's, it's to symbolize the fish in the ocean. Colonizers came from Europe, different parts of Europe, and they went to new lands and tried to change them. They tried to fix what they thought was wrong. They thought we were savage. They thought we were inept of living a normal life, according to them. But in doing this and going through this journey, we also learn that colonization had a very similar effect on many cultures around the world, not just the Tahitian culture. For me, learning about how the French came to Tahiti and loved the people, and the people loved them. The people were very giving and, and open and, and generous and accepting of the French. Um, they were accepting of their religion. Uh, the, the Tahitians identified with God because they had gods. For about a hundred years, there was no culture. There was no dance. There was no drumming. The language was not spoken. It hit a lot of who we really were. It hit a lot of our culture, our language, our food, um, everything. Everything that made Tahitians Tahitians was banned. There was a certain time frame where they couldn't dance, they couldn't sing, they couldn't worship the way they, they used to. Be, being in Tahiti and filming the culture, uh, seeing the dance and seeing the, the, and experiencing the food was, was fascinating and, 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 it was, and it led me to dig deeper and deeper and listening to these interviews. I think a lot, of, a lot of what happened with the Tahitians was misunderstanding. Failure to identify a culture that's different than yours. Are generous, very, very generous, very kind, very welcoming, happy people, happy to share their culture, happy to share the knowledge that they have about their culture. And we were so blessed to be a part of it. We are excited for you guys to see 
this docu-series to be a part of it. And we hope you guys learn as much as we did in this docu-series, Beyond the Grass Skirt. So for me, this docu-series uh, dug into culture, uh, life, food, language, dance, and explored the story of who the Tahitian people are. We appreciate your interest in being a part of this docu-series that dives into the roots of a culture the world thinks it knows.